Alright, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So today, I want to quickly show you guys how to get every single one of the Purunga Dragon Balls for this year's Tanabata celebration on JP so that my JP players out there can, you know, make some wishes. Now, before we get into it, one thing I do want to mention is that the way this campaign works is you can only get one new Dragon Ball per day from the start of the campaign. So this campaign actually started a few days ago on June 30th. So on June 30th, the one star ball was available. And then on July 1st, the two star ball was available and July 2nd, the three star ball and so on and so forth until you collect, you know, all seven balls for the first set. And then there's also a second set after that. Now, if you missed any balls in between, you can collect them after the fact, but you can't collect balls early, you know? I'm gonna say balls in this video a lot, so try to not take it in a weird way, you know? But uh, anyways, with all that said, let's jump right into it. And we're gonna start here with the first set of Purunga Dragon Balls. And as I said, the one star ball was available on June 30th, 2021. And in order to get that ball, all you had to do was recruit a character with a Wish Strip 4, which is the new Wish Strip for this year's Tanabata Celebration. So you go to the Baba Shop and select a character with your Wish Strip, and you'll get that one-star Dragon Ball. Now for the two-star Dragon Ball, which uh, was available on July 1st, 2021, you have to clear Stage 3 of the Story Event Fusion Reborn, which is, of course, the Beku Story Event. So go to Stage 3, clear uh, that stage, and you should be getting your two-star ball. And for the three-star ball, you gotta equip a skill orb, pretty, you know, self-explanatory, so go ahead and do that. And uh, that ball just became available today, July 2nd, 2021. Obviously, if you're watching this video in the future, then this uh, doesn't really apply to you, right? Now, for the four-star ball, which will be available on July 3rd, 2021, you have to Dokken Awaken, a character once again, pretty self-explanatory, so uh, hopefully there's a free-to-play character that you haven't Dokken Awakened yet that you can do that with, or maybe, I mean, any unit is fine. So just Dokken Awaken a character, and you'll get the 4-star Dragon Ball. For the 5-star ball, available on July 4th, 2021, consume at least 77 stamina, so do any event you want, whether it be story mode or B-Pan event, whatever. Use up 77 stamina, you'll get the 5 star ball. For the 6 star ball, available on July 5th, 2021, you have to clear a stage with a team made up of characters from the same type, so a mono team. So all AGL types, all tech types, all uh, you know STR types, so on and so forth. Do that, clear a stage, and you'll get the 6 star ball. And finally, for the 7th uh, and final ball, the seven star ball, for the first set of Purunga uh, wishes or Purunga Dragon Balls, you have to use a support item or the Dende support item basically, and that's available on July 6th. So there you have it guys, all seven balls will be collected after you do all these things on July 6th, July 6th, 2021. And uh, once you collect these balls, you can go back to the home screen where you can summon Purunga and make your wishes. And in terms of the wishes, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight wishes available. Wait, is that right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh yeah, eight wishes, but, but this wish is only available with the second set of balls, and this wish is only available with the first set of balls. So something to keep in mind, all right? So in order, the wishes will be, I want wish strips. The second one will be, uh, okay, so this is for the second set, so ignore this for now. Uh, the second one will be, I want to power up my super attacks. The third one is, I want to activate hidden potential. Fourth one, I want a full belly. Fifth one, I want to play many events. Sixth one, I want treasures and support items. And the last one is, I want to strengthen my allies. So, if you choose the first one, you get two wish strips. If you choose the second one, you'll get three Grand Kai's of each type. The third one is a bunch of potential orbs and also 10 reversal medals. Fourth one is a bunch of meats for free stamina. Uh, fifth one is a bunch of story keys. 
Uh, sixth one is 777 incredible gems, a bunch of support items of different types. And the last one is for some Hercule statues for Zenny, a bunch of awakening medals, and also a bunch of training items and training locations. All right. Um, obviously, choose the ones that you need the most. I feel like the most useful ones are probably potential orbs, um, highs, and obviously the wish strips can be really good depending on how many units you still need. But if you don't need a lot of those units, then I would probably go with stamina as the last one. So personally, I would choose uh, super attack, yeah, hidden potential, and full belly. But of course, the choice is up to you. And then for the second set of uh, Dragon Balls, which will become available starting on the 7th of July, uh, the first one is tap the special banner on the home screen for the one star ball. And the special banner is probably going to be just like this image with a bunch of stars, like a bunch of shooting stars. Um, it might be different this year, but in past years, it was, you know, a banner with like, a bunch of stars on it. You just got to go to your home screen, go to the bottom where you have those like scrolling banners. And it might be the first one, but it might also be hidden somewhere in there. So maybe scroll through them. And once you find that banner that looks different, that's not promoting an event, click on that one and you'll get the one star ball. Once again, starting on July 7th. Okay. And then for the two star ball on July 8th, tap the scouter on the top right corner of the summon screen. So go to a banner on the summon screen, click on the scouter and you'll get that two star ball. And then for the three star ball available on July 9th, you have to collect at least seven tech key spheres and clear a stage. Pretty self-explanatory. So uh, maybe to guarantee it, just bring an orb changer or bring an orb changing item that changes tech key spheres and uh, get your three star ball. And then for the four star ball available on July 10th, you have to clear a stage with a team that includes all five, oh, includes allies of five types, which uh, basically means all five types in the game, AGL, STR, Tech, Int, and Fizz. Bring a team like that and clear the stage and you'll get the four star ball. For the five star ball, get trade points at Baba's shop. And this is available on July 11th. And for this one, just exchange something in the Baba shop for training points for uh, you know Baba points and you'll get that Dragon Ball. So maybe exchange a unit you don't need or maybe a training item, whatever, right? It doesn't matter. So do that for the five star ball. Six star ball, clear a stage within one minute and it's available on July 12th. And for this one, just choose a stage you know you can beat pretty quickly. Maybe the B pan stage, uh, maybe a really early story stage or I don't know, whatever, that's quick, right? Uh, punching bag is a possibility, I guess. Uh, it's totally up to you. Do that. Six star ball will be yours. And lastly, for the seven star Dragon Ball for the second set, you have to use a support memory and that's available on July 13th. And you know, for my JP players, you should know how that works. So I don't have to explain that. And there you have it guys. Uh, after you do all these things, you will have completed your second set of Purunga Dragon Balls. You can summon Purunga for the second time and make your wishes again. And as I said before, this set, or this wish rather, is not available with the, with the second set, but instead it'll be replaced by this wish, which will give you three of the Tanabata Dokkan Festival tickets, which can be used to summon on the Tanabata banner this year with the sixth anniversary LR and also the LR Gogeta, right? So, uh, the tech Gogeta that is. So yeah, I would definitely go for this wish if I were you, but you know, the choice is ultimately yours and uh, the rest of the wishes should be exactly the same. So, you know, you got your Kai's, your orbs, your meat, your, your keys, trading item or rather support items and incredible gems and also Zenny awakening medals, training items and training locations. So uh, that pretty much does it for the video, guys. Uh, hopefully it helped some of you get your balls um, <laughs> and let me know in the comments down below if you have any questions about any of this stuff. Hopefully somebody can help you if I can't get to you personally. And if there are any changes that happen or any mistakes that I made um, that I noticed later on, I will definitely, you know, put something in the pinned comment down below to correct it. But for the most part, you know, these clues should be correct. So uh, yeah, good luck collecting these balls. Uh, have fun making your wishes. 
And that's going to do it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching, of course. And uh, as always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button. Hit that notification bell too. And that's it. I'm out of here. Uh, as always, have an awesome, awesome day. And uh, what I usually say again? Oh, I'm Tiger with Tiger Africa Media. Signing out.